Hi everyone, today's topic is about how much water intake and how it helped to reduce our weight. Lot of people not aware about how much water want to take every day. Some may take very less, some may take very high intake of water. Maintaining water balance is essential for your survival. For this reason, your body has a sophisticated system for regulating when and how much you drink. When your total water content goes below a certain level, thirst kicks in. This is controlled by mechanisms similar to breathing. You don't need to consciously think about it. You are constantly losing water from your body, primarily via urine and sweat. To prevent dehydration, you need to drink adequate amounts of water. There are many different opinions on how much water you should be drinking every day. Health authorities commonly recommend 8-8 ounce glasses, which equals about 2 liters, or half a gallon. This is called the 8 times 8 rule and is very easy to remember. There really is no science behind the 8 times 8 rule. However, some health gurus believe that you need to sip on water constantly throughout the day. Even when you're not thirsty. However, this is just a general guideline. Some people may need less. While others may need a lot more. If you want to keep things simple, just listen to your body and let thirst be your guide. Drink water when you're feeling thirsty. Stop when you're not thirsty anymore. Most people don't need to consciously think about their water intake. As the thirst mechanism in the brain is very effective. However, certain circumstances do call for increased attention to water intake. Some elderly people, for example, may need to consciously remind themselves to drink water even if they're not thirsty. Water need to increase some special conditions. Body size, body weight, composition, and activity level vary greatly from person to person. If you're an athlete, live in a hot climate or are currently breastfeeding, your water requirements increase. How much water intake while exercise? While exercising, try to drink 2 to 4 cups of fluid per hour. If exercising longer than an hour, sports beverages are also an option. These drinks contain sugar, along with electrolytes such as sodium and potassium, which you lose in sweat. Let thirst also guide you when exercising. If you're thirsty, drink more. You can stay hydrated from more than water. It's not just plain water that supplies your body with water. Other beverages, like milk and fruit juice, count as well. Caffeinated beverages and alcoholic drinks such as beer may also contribute to fluid intake. These beverages only become significant diuretics when you consume them in large amounts. Diuretics are substances that increase fluid loss by making you pee more often. Does water intake affect energy levels and brain function? Mild dehydration caused by exercise or heat can have negative effects on both your physical and mental performance. Drinking water can sometimes help relieve headache symptoms, especially in people who are dehydrated. Does drinking a lot of water help you lose weight? Drinking enough water may help you burn more calories reducing appetite if consumed before a meal and reduce your weight. This is due to the fact that water can increase satiety and boost your metabolic rate. Water is naturally calorie-free, it is generally linked with reduced calorie intake. It is actually best to drink water cold, because then the body will use additional energy, calories, to heat the water to body temperature. Avoid other beverages, which are high in calories and sugar. Does more water help prevent health problems? Several health problems supposedly respond well to increased water intake. Better physical performance, modest dehydration may impair physical performance. Losing only 2% of your body's water content during exercise may increase fatigue and reduce motivation. Constipation, increasing water intake can help with constipation, a very common problem. Cancer. Some studies show that those who drink more water have a lower risk of bladder and colorectal cancer. Kidney stones, increased water intake may decrease the risk of kidney stones. Acne and skin hydration, there are a lot of anecdotal reports about how water can help hydrate the skin and reduce acne. What happen when you not drink water over hydration? 
overhydration can lead to water intoxication. This occurs when the amount of salt and other electrolytes in your body become too diluted. Hyponatremia is a condition in which sodium, salt, levels become dangerously low. This is the main concern of overhydration. If your electrolytes drop too low too quickly, it can be fatal. Death by overhydration is rare, but it can happen. In a healthy person, your urine is a good indicator of your hydration status. Pale yellow urine that looks like lemonade is a good goal. Darker urine means you need more water. Colorless urine means you are overhydrated. How much water is best? At the end of the day, no one can tell you exactly how much water you need. This depends on the individual. If you want to keep things simple, these guidelines should apply to the majority of people. 1. When you're thirsty, drink. 2. When you're not thirsty anymore, stop. 3. During high heat and exercise, make sure to drink enough to compensate for the lost fluids. Hope, this video is useful and thanks for watching our videos. Click the subscribe button to get the next video.